Hi, I'm Melissa from Northland Express, and I would like to provide some information on gel fireplace fuels. We've had a lot of questions about gel fuel, how to use them, safety, and how they compare to wood or gas fuels. I'll start first by going over some general information about gel fuels and some questions we've received, and then compare gel fuel to other fuels like wood and gas. Because gel fuel is an alcohol-based gel, it doesn't put out byproducts like wood, paper, and other materials do when they burn. That means that gel fuels are clean burning, leaving behind no soot or ashes and putting off absolutely no smoke. Gel fuel is also environmentally friendly. It burns with such little put off that you don't have to have a venting system and air quality within the room remains safe. The only thing left behind after burning gel fuels is the can, which can be recycled. If you love the ambiance of dancing flame, but hate the work of a real wood fire, then gel fuel would be a great option for you. Gel fuel is easy to use. They don't flare up when lighting, and the flame height grows slowly as the fire, longer the fire burns. It's also easy to put out by simply snuffing out the flame with the can's lid. You can also put out the can of gel fuel and continue to relight them until the can is empty. Gel fuel does produce heat. There will be variances between brands, but gel fuel can produce between 1,700 to 2,500 BTUs per hour and has a burn time of two to three hours. It also is a great emergency backup because when power is out, you can use gel fuel to produce heat as well as light. Gel fuel produces a realistic wood-like flame and popping sound, whether you're trying to recreate a wood fire indoors or out. That's right, gel fuel can be used both indoors and outside, and there's no flying embers to worry about. Gel fuels do contain organic additives that create a popping sound of the real wood fire. But don't worry, they're not going to pop or snap so hard that you need to be concerned with splattering gel fuel. That covers the basic benefits of gel fuel. Now let's go to the questions. Our first question asked is if gel fuel is safe to use. My answer to that would be, yes, gel fuel is safe when used according to the directions. It's important that you're reading and following all of the directions on the can prior to using the product. You should always remove the label from the can and follow the same safety procedures as you would with any other fire. It is, after all, a burning flame. You should also only burn gel fuel in its original can and never try to add anything to it or remove it and burn it in another container. The next question that we often get is asking if gel fuel produces any sensor odors. I have noticed that some of the gel fuels do seem to have an odor sometimes, and according to the manufacturers, those odors are not harmful. And again, I only notice this once in a while. The odor can be unpleasant to sensitive noses, and there are some things that you can do to minimize the odor. First, always make sure that you're removing the label from the can before burning it. Also, shaking the can very well will also help. As the can sits, the materials separate over time, and the better it's mixed, the better it's going to burn. The, another question that we frequently get is how many cans can I burn indoors at one time? Manufacturers say that you can burn up to three cans at one time indoors. Now let's take a moment to compare gel fuel to both wood and gas fires. In comparison to a wood fire, gel fuel will burn with a comparable flame and a realistic popping sound and crackling sound. Gel fuel will also leave less cleanup behind because it doesn't produce buildup like soot or ashes. Gel fuel also requires less manual labor. The only lifting will be done when you bring your box in from delivery, unlike firewood, which you have to continuously bring in and stack. Another major plus over wood is there's no venting required, so you don't have to buy and install a pricey venting system like you would have to with a wood stove. You can also start and stop a gel fire a lot faster than you can a wood fire. When you compare gel fuel to a gas fire, you'll notice the first main benefit in gel fuel's favor is that you don't have to have a gas line providing a constant fuel source. Gel fuel will also provide the authentic sounds of a wood fire, where a gas fire will only replicate the flame, not the sound of the gas or of a wood flame. Gas fires also need to be vented, where gel fuel does not. If you're using propane, your flame is going to be blue rather than the orange flame put off by an authentic wood fire. The lack of venting system and fuel line makes it a great idea for more places around your home and patio as well. Gel fuel also burns cleaner than gas, making it a less pollutant fuel source. The final consideration is that you don't have to worry about filling your home with dangerous fumes should the gas line leak or be left on. If a can of gel fuel is left open on lit, it will just evaporate harmlessly over time. I hope you found this information helpful, but if you still have questions about gel fuel, please feel free to give our customer service reps a call at 866-667-8454. They're always happy to help.